Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Ken, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Rich Walsh will be joined by Paul Zeiss in just a matter of moments. He's sitting right next to me, and we're taking your phone calls tonight at 412-575-2600 on the Bordis and Bordis Hotline. We're going to be talking about high school football. Um, the finals are set in 5A and 2A. Also, we have a big slate of games for you tomorrow right here on Pittsburgh CW at Heinz Field, the 1A, the 3A, the 4A. And the 6A games are all on Pittsburgh CW, broadcast live by Bob Pompiani. He's doing the play-by-play. -play. So we'll be talking about that. If you want to call in, um, some big winners tonight, we'll go over that. But first of all, I'm going to talk about Pitt football. Pitt has a huge game tomorrow, Paul, and you know the Panthers better than pretty much anyone. And um, they're, a, what, about a touchdown favorite headed to Wake Six Forest. Six and a half is the so, last I saw. You know, typical Pitt fashion, this is the game that, that would trip them up. What do you think is going to happen this year? I, I mean, I don't know if it's typical pit fashion. In history, this I mean, is the game that What they I mean lose. is, they, 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 I don't know, that, that, are they really supposed to win by that much? Like, well, to me, you know, to me, you look at it, I mean, yeah, they're six and a half point favorites, but Wake Forest just beat NC State last week. Last week. Um, and the, the thing about it is you're on the road. I don't know how good Pitt really is right now. And, you know, it looks like they're pretty good, so... It wouldn't shock me if they went down there and won. It wouldn't shock me that much if they went down there and lose. I, I, I think the big thing is as long as they play a really good game, you can live with whatever the outcome is. You, you would hope that they, if they play a good game that, that they're good enough to win. But like I said in the ACC, you've got Clemson. <laughs> and, and then else. about eight teams or nine teams that are all very you know similar. I mean, we talked about it last week. Syracuse, is pro the, Syracuse actually has an – if they win tomorrow, they're probably going to be in a bowl game. Like in a in a, a pretty New good one. New Year's Eve, you know, New Year's Day bowl game, one of those New Year's yeah. Six games. What have they done? I mean, you know, it's it's so so to me. I, I mean, I would think they have a good chance to go down there and win the more. The flip side of that is, Wake Forest runs that kind of offense that has killed Pitt's defense ever since Pat Narduzzi took over. The RPO. I mean, yeah, they're running pass option stuff and the tempo and the you know what I mean, the quick passing game and the read option and all the other stuff. Those are the kind of offenses that have really hurt Pitt under Pat Narduzzi. It's like a matchup thing or whatever it is. Yeah. So, you know, if Pitt's going to win, they're probably going to have to win a high-scoring game. Well, they did well against Virginia, a similar type of offense, right? Mm, no, more like Duke. More like Duke. Yeah, so you, have, like to, Duke, you yeah. have to you have to win a high-scoring game. Right. I don't think Pitt is built to score a lot of points. I mean, they're, spilt, they're built to, um, you know, control the clock. Right. Long drives with the run game, eat up a lot of time. You know that's why. But that it, could be a shootout, though. You and know, would they, you would they, you trust Kenny Pickett in a shootout? Well, I'm just saying, in a shootout, it could be a different kind of shootout. It could be Pitt goes on a you know 13 play drive, scores it goes seven nothing. Mm -hmm. Wake Forest takes three minutes, or I mean, takes a two two minutes and five plays and scores. Now it's seven seven. Now Pitt gets the ball back and grinds it out again, and you know what I mean? Yeah. It could be that kind of shootout where there's just a lot less possessions because Pitt's possessions are longer. The one thing I will say is Pitt, uh, you know, the, the, the matchup for Pitt that's really good, Wake Forest isn't very good at stopping the run, and their defense isn't very good. So, you know, it's there for Pitt, but the biggest issue to me is going to be how do they handle the run-pass option stuff? You know, the – what I, I bring up Pitt, you know, everyone, they, they've had chance to win the Big East before. They've had chance to win games. And, you know, a few years ago, what was it, Pat Narduzzi's first year, they could have got to the ACC Coastal, but they lost to North Carolina, correct? Wasn't that down the stretch? It was something like down that. Down the stretch. They, 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 yeah, they, they, but, yeah. But so here, it's right in front of them. All they got to do is beat Wake Forest. And, and what worries me, if I'm a Pitt fan, if they lose this game, um, they could easily lose in Miami. Yeah, but Georgia Tech could win tomorrow, and it wouldn't matter. Yeah, and then Virginia Tech could be Virginia, so. No, I'm just saying, if Georgia Tech wins tomorrow, it doesn't matter. It, Pitt, yeah, I understand that. Or if, if Virginia does right, win, right. Virginia Tech has a chance to beat right. Virginia. But what I'm saying is, we could be go, you could go to Miami. Even if you lose tomorrow, you could actually still be going to Miami with a game that means nothing. Now, if they lose tomorrow, you've got to win that game. You don't want to be 6-6 six and six conference champions. No. That would be ridiculous. You hope that they win one of these two to go seven and five, win it outright, you know. Yeah, you'd like to see it end tomorrow. 
Yes. Uh, that's what we all want to see. All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, we're going to come back with your phone calls. We're also going to recap the Whippeo in our Thermo Twin Whippeo report right now, brought to you by PNC. And big winners tonight. Penn Hills beats Peters Township 22 to 14. That's our Honda game of the week coming up on KDK TV News tonight. And Paul, another number one seed goes down tonight. Gateway, maybe the best team in the Whippeo uh, on paper, loses to West Allegheny and Bob Pelko's retirement doesn't start tomorrow. Well, I mean, Bob Pelko is a guy that's won a, a, a zillion games like that, you know, and you, you, you kind of knew that this was his last season because he's retiring. They were going to have something special. I mean, I think he's just a great coach, and they, they showed it again tonight. You know, they got into a game with Gateway, who everybody's consensus best team. In fact, I heard some people say Gateway would beat Pine Richland, you know, who's supposed to win tomorrow. Yeah, they're ranked higher. You know, I mean, if exactly. you look at state uh, rankings. But you know what? What makes a guy like Bob Pelko special is he knows he just knows how to win these kind of games. He knows how to win in the playoffs. Uh, even if his teams don't look that good early in the season, they get better as the season goes on. And so, you know what? Hats off to him. And next week now they've got to play another great team in Penn Hills. Yeah. So you figure if they win, if they win this title, I mean, going through Gateway and Penn Hills, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, they deserve it. And, you know, uh, Bob Pelko, most ever Whippeo wins, right, out of any other coach. I think he has eight. Eight, yeah, he yeah, has so, eight, yes. He could have um, nine tomorrow. You know, congratulations week. to Pelko. He has a chance to win it, taking on Penn Hills. Next Friday, that will be at Norwin High School, and you can watch that game live right here in Pittsburgh CW. Also, Steel Valley wins tonight 40 to nothing over Freedom. <laughs> and Southside Beaver edges out Charleroi 26 to 21. Steel Love highlights. Steel Valley's become like the new Clareton, you know, where just the games that you they look can at move them, up. They, they can move they up, can up to 3A. They should move up to 3A. They should move up to 3A. All right, we'll have highlights of all those games coming up on KDK TV at 11. Hopefully you tune in, and hopefully you keep it right here on the Pittsburgh CW for the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. We're taking your phone calls coming up next. Stay right there.